somewhere in Clackamas or Marion County. K2 Shelley Bailey Shaw joins us live with the very latest. Shelley? And a police have suspended the search for a 25-year-old Silverton man. At its height, more than 50 officers, including two SWAT teams, were scouring rural Clackamas County for the fugitive. Now, here's a look at the suspect, Norman Gould. But police say he weighs about 100 pounds less with shorter hair than in this picture. Officers arrested him Saturday after finding more than 50 sticks of dynamite in his car trunk. But before they could jail him, he gave them the slip in a police cruiser. He was able to slip the handcuffs from behind to the front, go through the plexiglass window into the front of the car, and then put the car in gear and take off. Yeah. Also figured out how to release the AK-15 assault rifle that was locked inside the cruiser. After leading police on a high-speed chase, he crashed the car and then took off running. He's considered armed and dangerous. Now, even so, the manhunt has been called off, and police say without any further sightings, they just don't know where to look. Anna? All right, Shelley, thank you very much. In Washington, the discovery of Bones could be a major development in the Beware, um, because he is armed. After ditching the car, he took off with an assault rifle. Good evening, I'm Nancy Francis. And I'm Carl Click. First at 6.30, the search for the suspect who stole a police car and then an assault rifle after officers arrested him. The man, 25-year-old Norman Gould, escaped police custody at his home in Silverton. He then crashed the police cruiser near Malala and got away on foot. News Channel 8's John Flick joins us now with the bizarre escape story. Yeah, Carl, two other people with ties to Norman Gould were arrested for having dynamite and illegal fireworks. But Gould escaped custody after taking control of that police car. He is considered armed and dangerous. Because he nearly made him set up. The trunk where all the trouble began. Pam Gould says her son is innocent even though police say they found almost 60 sticks of dynamite in the back of his car. I, I think he was set up. 25-year-old Norman Gould is no stranger to authorities. A convicted felon, he's been arrested 11 times on everything from burglary to making meth. Police arrested him again at his mother's home Saturday. Silverton Police Chief Rick Lewis says Gould was handcuffed and placed in the back of the police car. He was probably in there for, I would imagine, three to four hours, you know, and, and of course it was fairly warm, so we had the air conditioner on and giving him water and things like that. In that time, authorities questioned him and searched the home for more dynamite, which they did find. But at the same time, it appears Gould was planning his escape. He was handcuffed on his back. Uh, somehow or other, he managed to get the handcuffs around to the front. Yeah. Wow. The 120-pound Gould then crawled through the sliding barrier. He had, he had this type of space to go through. It's a small space. Yeah, it's about 12 by 12, I think. Gould took off toward Malala with police in pursuit, but they couldn't keep up. He was driving our newest patrol car and, and our fastest, obviously. Okay, so I'm to go ahead and In the dark, authorities say Gould sped across the curvy roads, at one point sideswiping an SUV until he crashed and then ran off into the night. Just beware, um, because he is armed and... Armed with a semi-automatic rifle that he took from the police car. All night, authorities searched the area, scouring the fields and wooded areas of the Clackamas County countryside. It's an escape that Pam Gould actually supports. She stands behind her son. Thank God. This time they can't hurt him, this time they can't threaten him, and this time they won't be able to maybe kill him. And no word on what the dynamite was to be used for. The Silverton police chief is looking into how the arrest was handled. And tonight, authorities warn people to be on the lookout for Norman Gould. If you have any information, call 911. Carl? All right, John, thank you very much. As John mentioned, two other men who were arrested on similar charges, it appears both of them have ties to Norman Gould. Silverton police arrested Richard Klinger after finding four sticks of dynamite in his home. And Woodburn police arrested Morris Tapia for having illegal fireworks wrapped in electrical tape. Police say Tapia admitted that Norman Gould... Is our time tonight. Surviving the fire, a good Samaritan puts himself in harm's way to save a stranger. Only on 12. He loved life and he lived uh, two or three lifetimes in his short lifetime. He was involved in everything. An outdoorsman, a musician, a role model, a beloved son remembered. Armed and dangerous, a man escapes right out from under police. Now he's on the run. The search for the suspect is story tonight near Sandy. Oregon State Police are at the scene of a three-car accident on Highway 26 just east of Sandy. Police say five people are dead at this hour. 
The accident happened about 6.30 tonight. Police say a Buick crossed the center line and then hit a Honda head on. The impact was so great it caused the two cars to hit a minivan. A total of 13 people were involved in the wreck. Six children in the van survived with minor injuries. And again, Oregon State Police reporting that five people died there at the scene. Five others, including the driver of the Buick, were all taken to OHSU. Let's take a live look at traffic out there tonight on Highway 26 in Sandy right now. And as you can see, it's moving pretty well, but the traffic is being diverted to the westbound lanes while the crews investigate that accident. No word yet on a cause tonight, and we'll keep you posted on this developing story. New information tonight on a multi-agency manhunt near Silverton. Officials are looking for 25-year-old Norman Gould. Officials say that he escaped arrest, stole a police car, and is now on the run with a police assault rifle. KPTV's Hillary Hutchinson joins us now live from the town of Markham with more. Hillary? And Kelly, late this afternoon, someone stole a farm truck from a farm just off the road, but the farm truck ran out of gas and ended up here. Then the thief took off. Officials think the thief was Gould and that he's still in the area, still armed and dangerous. Tonight, as shadows fall on neighbors' farms, some wonder if Gould might be hiding in them. It's hideable. You know, I mean, I'm a realist. And that's, you know, I, it's, it's, it's a place of, that, you, that one could conceal themselves. And they're nervous about what the fugitive might do next. Absolutely. You know, it, it frightens me, you know. The fugitive is Norman Gould. Silverton police arrested him yesterday for possession of dynamite. They say Gould was handcuffed in the back of this police car when he managed to get his handcuffs to the front, push open the partition window, and steal the car. Police say from Silverton he sped to a country road near Malala where he crashed the car and took off on foot, taking with him the officer's assault rifle like this one, leaving the handcuffs behind. Gould's mother says her son's been framed. I'd rather see my son in jail on all these setups and getting beat up and maybe killed or out there or taking his chances. Yes, I'd rather see him out there. But it's been a frightening 24 hours for local residents as police and SWAT team members search their property. I did not want to um, bring my children up here, so I went back and stayed with some friends in Moala until they told me I could come home this morning and check it out. Before this, many have never even locked their doors. Never have. None of us up here have. You know, we're just pretty much you're out in the country. You don't have to worry about it. And I went and got a safety boat. And two other men were arrested along with Gould for possession of illegal explosives, but those men were not able to escape from police. Reporting live in Markham tonight, Hillary Hutchison, the 10 o'clock news. And as Hillary mentioned, the search for Norman Gould did lead to the arrest of another man in Woodburn. Morris Tapia is a friend of Gould's. Police say Tapia was storing dynamite in his apartment for Gould. A bomb squad was called to detonate the explosives, but the dynamite turned out just to be illegal fireworks wrapped up in electrical tape. Tapia was arrested for violating his probation. Police in Woodburn... ...by stealing an officer's patrol car. And Clackamas County Sheriff's deputies say Norman Gould is still on the move. They say just this evening he stole a pickup truck from a farm near where he disappeared on South Wildcat Road and Highway 213 in Malala. But he didn't get far because the truck ran out of gas, so investigators think he's back on foot. As Coin Six's David Okarski reports, the escape and the search for Gould has been intense. Silverton police found what they were looking for Saturday at Pam Gould's house. It was right in the middle, I guess, in the front room floor. Is all this dynamite. There's, they've got dynamite out of his car. Pam wasn't home at the time, but her 25-year-old son, Norman, was. Police were acting on a tip that he had some dynamite, and they found 35 pounds of it, 60 sticks in the house, and five in the trunk of his car. It, it probably was, but he didn't do it. Pam says police beat him up and planted the explosives to frame him. Yeah, I'm not even going to respond to that. That's ludicrous. Silverton's police chief says Gould's arrest was entirely peaceful, and Gould, handcuffed in the back of a squad car, was cooperating. Uh, he was getting a little bit warm, so the officer opened the window up to give him a little bit more ventilation from the air conditioner. That apparently uh, was the opening Gould was looking for. He somehow managed to slip the handcuffs from the back around to the front, um, went through that small plexiglass window opening into the front of the, uh, of the patrol vehicle and put it in gear and drove off. 
Gould, driving Silverton's newest and fastest cruiser, lost his pursuers but crashed it in Clackamas County and fled on foot with the semi-automatic rifle police kept in the car. Police were looking for Norman Gould all over again. Silverton police believe the dynamite was stolen and that Gould intended to sell it. They've arrested two other people in connection with that case and they're looking for a fourth. In Silverton, David Okarski, Coin 6 News. And police say Gould is armed and should be considered dangerous. If you see him or know where he is, call 911. Woodburn police are on the hunt for a man they say... escaped in a patrol car and took off with a... You take a look at this suspect. He's 25-year-old Norman Gould, but police say he does weigh about 100 pounds less than this photo and he has shorter hair than shown. Officers arrested him Saturday after finding more than 50 sticks of dynamite in the trunk of his car. But before they could put him in jail, he escaped in a police cruiser. He was able to slip the handcuffs from behind to the front, go through the plexiglass window into the front of the car, and then put the car in gear and take off. After leading police on a high-speed chase, he crashed the car and took off running. Gould is considered armed and dangerous after taking the AR-15 assault rifle that was locked inside the cruiser. Police say they've recovered a stolen pickup truck near Malala they believe Gould could have used Sunday afternoon. Right now, police are investigating numerous sightings of the man. We'll have the latest on the search. Her son, a man who escaped from police custody. He's freezing through a small window of a police car, and now police are keeping an eye out for him. He's believed to be in the area between Silverton and Malala in Clackamas County. News Channel 8's John Flick talked with authorities this morning and joins us live. John. Brenda, we're here in the town of Markham, one of the towns that was heavily searched over the weekend. The organized police search has been called off, and there have been no spottings of 25-year-old Norman Gould. Behind me, you see a sign here, shows that there's a number of places, a number of locations he could have gone. Gould escaped custody in that police car and also stole a semi-automatic rifle that was in the car. 25-year-old Norman Gould was arrested Saturday. He's a convicted felon, arrested 11 times before on everything from burglary to making drugs. Saturday, police say they found about 60 sticks of stolen dynamite in the trunk of his car and more inside the home. Now, he was handcuffed and placed in the back of a Silverton police cruiser, which was running at the time. Uh, authorities say Gould, who is about 120 pounds, crawled through the sliding barrier and took off in the car. He crashed it near Malala and fled on foot. Despite all the trouble, Gould's mother supports his escape. Thank God. This time they can't hurt him, this time they can't threaten him, and this time they won't be able to maybe kill him. We'll certainly look into all of the the details to see if procedurally we should do something different but my my initial thought right now is I don't like this type of window anymore um, I've never heard personally of anybody going through one of these but we... now Gould got out of his handcuffs using a key on the keychain left in the police car again he may also have that police semi-automatic rifle back here live in Markham yesterday about 5 p.m. there was a report of a stolen truck from a farm nearby, but that truck was found abandoned along South Nolan's Bridge Road because it ran out of gas. Authorities believe that Norman Gould might have stolen that truck and then abandoned it. Right now, there's no word on what all that stolen dynamite was to be used for, but if anyone has any information on this case, they are asked to call 911. Also, police warning people to Richard be on the... Richard Klinger, after finding four sticks of dynamite in his home. And Woodburn police arrested Morris Tapia for having illegal fireworks. This is what they look like, firecrackers taped together. Police say Tapia admitted that Norman Gould brought dynamite. Well, Norman Gould yesterday. Investigators say Gould stole an assault rifle and a Silverton police car. It all started Saturday. Detectives were acting on a tip that Gould had a lot of dynamite. They say they found 60 dynamite sticks in his house and some in the trunk of his car. Officers arrested Gould, handcuffed him, and put him in the squad car. The Silverton police chief says it was fairly warm on Saturday, so the air conditioning was on in the cruiser, which means the engine was running. The window between the front and back seat was also open to allow better airflow. The chief says that was all Gould needed for his escape. Somehow managed to slip the handcuffs from the back around to the front, um, went through that small plexiglass window opening into the front of the, uh, of the patrol vehicle and put it in gear and drove off. Gould later crashed the cruiser in Clackamas County. He then ran off with, an, with the assault rifle from the police car. Police say he's dangerous and may be armed with one of their weapons. Tonight, residents are living on the edge after a man escaped from police over the weekend in a patrol car. 
That's our top story tonight. Good evening, I'm Tracy Barry. And I'm Joe Donlin. The man sped away in a Silverton police car Saturday night and hasn't been seen since. Tonight, police think he's somewhere between Silverton and Malala in Clackamas County. News Channel 8's John Flick is live with the latest tonight. John? Well, Joe, it all started after police say they found a bunch of stolen dynamite in the back of Norman Gould's car. Now, the organized searches for Gould have been called off in towns like Markham here. Police right now are relying on tips from the public, and they have received several, but nothing has panned out so far. A normally quiet town disrupted by news of a fugitive on the run. Every time I hear a noise or something at night, I think, oh, no. 25-year-old Norman Gould is a convicted felon arrested 11 times before on everything from burglary to making drugs. I, I think he was set up. Saturday, his mother watched as he was arrested again. Police say they found up to 60 sticks of stolen dynamite in the trunk of his car and more in his home. Police Chief Rick Lewis says Gould was handcuffed and placed in the back seat of a police cruiser like this one, held there while authorities searched for more dynamite. He was probably in there for, I would imagine, three to four hours, you know, and, and of course it was fairly warm, so we had the air conditioner on. The running car gave Gould his chance at escape. He squeezed his 120-pound frame through the sliding barrier. So he had, he had this type of space to go through. Gould took off toward Malala, speeding through the winding countryside roads until he crashed and fled on foot. He took with him the police semi-automatic rifle in the front seat and 60 rounds of ammunition. We'll certainly look into all of the, the details to see if procedurally we should do something different. To leave the keys in it, I mean, you know, that's a blunder in itself. The escape is the talk of surrounding towns. Some aren't too concerned for their safety. Coming out here, you step on the wrong person's foot, man, there's a gun in every house out here. But others are worried with police calling off the organized search, relying on tips to find Gould. It is kind of unnerving to think he's still out there running around and they're kind of like hands tied you know, because they don't know where he is. Or... And the Silverton police chief said Gould was left in the back of that police cruiser for so long because he was helping investigators with information about where there was more dynamite on the property. No word on what Gould was planning to do with all those explosives. If you have any information on his whereabouts, you're asked to call 911. Investigators think the fugitive may be somewhere between Silverton and Malala. News Channel 8's John Flick is live. Are police getting any tips, John? Tracy, they sure are, but nothing has panned out so far. Authorities figure that uh, Gordon, or rather Norman Gould has probably contacted some of his friends uh, and maybe even his family and that he's probably still in the surrounding area. Now, Gould was arrested Saturday. He's a convicted felon, arrested 11 times before on everything from burglary to making drugs. Now, Saturday, police say they found about 60 sticks of stolen dynamite in the trunk of his car and more inside his home. Authorities say he was handcuffed and, uh, and in the back of a Silverton police cruiser, which was running at the time. Now, police say Gould, who is about 120 pounds, crawled through the sliding barrier and took off in the car. He crashed it near Malala and fled on foot with a semi-automatic rifle and ammunition, which was in the car. He used a key on the police keychain to unlock his handcuffs. That, I mean, we'll, we'll certainly look into all of the, the details to see if procedurally we should do something different. To leave the keys in it, I mean, you know, that's a blunder in itself. It is kind of unnerving to think he's still out there running around and they're kind of like hands tied, you know, because they don't know where he is. Or... And take a look at the description here of Gould. He may look a little different than this picture. He's about 5 feet 10, 120 pounds. He now has short brown hair, uh, hazel eyes, and he was wearing a black T-shirt. No word from authorities on what Gould planned to do with all those stolen explosives. If you have any information, you're asked to call 911. Tracy? John Flick, thank you. Believe it or not, this isn't the first time in recent memory that a handcuffed suspect has escaped from a patrol car. In December of 2000, Brandon Clayton was in custody inside a Washington County cruiser. He was handcuffed. Police say that didn't stop him from kicking out the car's window and making a run for it. Months later, Arizona... ...rifle. If you see Gould, you're asked to call 911. The Secret Service is meeting with local police and protest Tonight they group. warn Norman Gould is armed and dangerous. GPTV's Jamie Wilson is live near Malala now with more. Jamie. Well, the suspect was last spotted at this intersection here in Markham. And as you can see on that sign, there are several directions he could have gone. 
but folks around here tell me that because this guy is from this area, he would be able to hide out around here for a long time. At the main intersection in Markham tonight, there is one main question on everyone's minds. Where is this man, 25-year-old Norman Gould? You know, it does kind of freak people out that, you know, that there's a wild man running around with an assault rifle up in the hills. John McClure was working at the country store early Saturday morning when Gould came in. It was his last stop before he disappeared. Then a cop showed up about 20 minutes later and gave me a description of the guy. I, was, I busted up laughing. I was like, <laughs> he was in here earlier. I sold him soda and chips. Police arrested Gould at his home in Silverton for allegedly having 100 pounds of dynamite. Handcuffed and waiting in the back of a patrol car, Gould squeezed through the tiny partition window and drove away. He eventually dumped the police car in a ditch. Then he stole a pickup truck from this farm, but it ran out of gas down the street. Police say Gould took an assault rifle and a cell phone from their car, but Gould's mother believes he is innocent. I see my son in jail on all these setups and getting beat up and maybe killed. Are out there are taking his chances? Yes, I'd rather see him out there. Local residents, especially farmers, say they are on their guard. Out here, they know there are plenty of places to hide. High stands of Christmas trees that have kind of gotten out of hand and uh, barns that are empty and uh, just places where you could stay for a while. But if Norman Gould comes back here, folks in this community say they will take notice. Oh, I'm keeping my eye out now. He shows back up. Hey, man, he's mine. <laughs> Back live now, Norman Gould has been on the loose since Saturday. If you have any information about his whereabouts, you are asked to contact the Clackamas County Sheriff's Office. Live in Markham tonight, Jamie Wilson, the 10 o'clock news. Sun glare may be a high-powered rifle. It happened Saturday night. K2's Paul Booked is live in Silverton with that story tonight, Paul. And Steve, outside the police department, they're still awaiting word. You know, it was a rough weekend for them. They lost that assault rifle. They lost a squad car. They lost a suspect. They found a squad car. However, it was damaged by the suspect, who they say is Norman Gould, and they believe they were close today. For a few minutes Monday afternoon, it appeared Silverton police the right there, do not move. had their man. So if this is a misunderstanding, then we apologize. But we really it was a misunderstanding. This homeless man merely matched the description of the man Silverton police have sought since Saturday. 25-year-old Norman Gould who somehow managed to squeeze his body through the squad car window, unlock his cuffs, and speed away in the police car, much to the delight of his family. He's backing up. Norman's backing up. You know, my voice went, oh, because I realized it was Norman. And when I said that, everybody scattered from the road. I mean, the road was clear, clear out. And he hit reverse, and he did 60 down that way. Well, it was kind of funny. He backed out of here and hey, hit the road is about 50 in hey, reverse, Mr. it looked like. He missed everything. Went around the cop that was standing there. Police say Gould hit speeds close to 120 miles per hour, speeds they weren't willing to take. Later that day, he allegedly crashed the squad car near Markham and bailed out on foot. There was a massive search. Police say Gould didn't leave the car empty-handed. They say he took an AR-15 rifle that was inside. I don't know the ballistics of it or anything else. It'll travel for a long ways and do a lot of damage when it hits. There have been Norman Gould sightings, even a suspicion he stole a truck and ditched it, but so far, no Norman Gould, leaving Silverton residents to wonder. You wouldn't think he'd come back here if, if he, this is where he was running from. You'd think he'd be long gone, but you never know if the guy's crazy enough to take off and do something like that. You never know what he's going to do. Well, yeah, I always worship some crazies out there with a you know, a, a weapon. Um, but um, it, does it stop me from going about my business? No. This is a picture of Norman Gould. His appearance has changed somewhat. He used to weigh well over 200 pounds, but police say now he weighs 125 pounds, is 5 feet 10 inches tall. He now has short brown hair, hazel eyes, was wearing a black t-shirt, and again, police believed believe that he is armed and dangerous. However, his family, Norman Gould's family, that is, believes he wouldn't hurt anyone. Live in Silverton, Paul Booked at K2 News. Paul, thank you very much. In other news, a Salem police officer has been cleared of wrongdoing for the shooting death of a man. Saturday, police arrested 25-year-old Norman Gould after finding more than 50 sticks of dynamite in his car. While they were searching his home, Gould managed to take off in a police cruiser. Police later found the car 
after a high-speed chase. No sign of a squad car, but investigators say they're not giving up. 25-year-old Norman Gould was sitting in the back seat of a patrol car on Saturday. Officers say when no one was looking, he squeezed through the window, separating the back seat from the front, and sped away. A rifle was also left in the cruiser. Meanwhile, the Silverton Police Department is going to make some changes because of the escape. The chief says he may replace the plastic windows in the police cars with something solid. He will reevaluate how officers interview suspects at a crime scene, and he says they may have them carry their handcuff keys somewhere else. In this case, the key was on the ignition key ring, so Norman Gould was able to quickly remove his handcuffs. Join us police say Gould was handcuffed and waiting in the back of a patrol car while police searched his home. They say Gould squeezed through a 12 by 12 inch opening in the car's front seat and then drove off in that squad car. He later crashed that police car, police say. Night near Time Silverton, but he escaped from the back of a patrol car and drove away. Police found the car crashed, but a semi-automatic rifle missing. If you see no Norman... Then dumped it and took off with an assault rifle that was in that car. He's been on the run ever since, but has not been found. And here's a description of him. He weighs about 125 pounds. He's 5 feet 10. His hair is now short, and he was last seen wearing a black T-shirt. He may be armed and dangerous, so call the police if you see him. Fast response. ...had been arrested at his mother's house after police found 60 sticks of dynamite in his car. Now, while Goode waited in the back seat of a patrol car, police think he squeezed through a tiny window to the front seat. He then sped away, crashing the police car, then escaping on foot. Police believe he's still in... Silverton, police picked him up when they found stolen dynamite in his car trunk. Gould is still on the run tonight. He is 5'10", weighs between 120 and 150 pounds, and he could be armed. If you have any... From earlier this month. One. Portland police are... Salem police found 26-year-old Norman Gould hiding in the bedroom of a home in the 1800 block of 32nd Street Northeast. Now, Gould escaped from custody by squeezing through the window of a police cruiser. He then stole the car and a police assault rifle. Last night, a Salem police officer stopped a car believed to be connected to the case and questioned the Silverton woman driving it. That led police to the home where they took Gould into custody without incident. The assault rifle was found in the trunk of the car. The Oregon led Police say they found Norman Gould last night hiding in a Salem home. Police launched a massive manhunt for Gould on August 16th. They arrested him in Silverton after apparently finding dozens of sticks of dynamite in his car. While sitting alone in the back of a police cruiser, officers say Gould squeezed through to the front of the car, then drove away in handcuffs. He later crashed the car and took off on numerous police. charges after his run from the law. Salem police finally caught up with Norman Gould Tuesday night at a home in Salem. Gould was on the run since last week when he escaped from an officer attempting to place him under arrest on explosives charges. Police say he stole the officer's car and the police assault rifle inside the police car before he vanished. This is after spending that more than a week on the run. August 16th, police arrested Norman Gould after finding 70 sticks of dynamite in his car. But he escaped from the back of a patrol car and drove away. Police eventually caught up with him in Salem where he hid in a house. She survived a drunk driving crash.